In this problem, we're asked to graph the inequality y is greater than 5, have x, 5 halves x minus 4. So the first step, any time we have the graph of an inequality is graph the boundary line. So we have y equals, just remove the inequality, 5 halves x minus 4. And since it's non-inclusive, the inequality we're given, it's going to be a dashed line. So we have a y-intercept of 0, negative 4. Since this is in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where 0b is our y-intercept. So 0, negative 4. And then using our slope, 5 halves, we have a rise of 5 and a run of 2. So we go up 5 and right 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 2. We can do it again from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 2. And then we simply graph, draw in our line which again is going to be dashed because it's a non-inclusive inequality. And now we want to know which side do we shade. So we test points. We'll start on the left hand side first. So let's Let's just choose 0, 0. So we want to know, substituting into y is greater than 5 halves x minus 4, is 0 greater than 5 halves times 0 minus 4. And we do get a true statement. 0 is greater than negative 4, because 5 halves times 0 is 0, minus 4 is negative 4. So that indicates that we should shade on that side. Let's, let's test a point on the other side just to be sure. Let's use... 3, 0, this point right over here. So 0 is greater than 5 halves times 3 minus 4 is 0 greater than 15 halves minus 8 halves. So 0 greater than 7 halves. And it's not, that's an untrue statement. So we would shade on the side that makes it true, which would be this left-hand side. So we just shade on that side of the line. Now you could fill this area any way that you want as long as it's obvious that this is shaded until we get to systems of inequalities. It's not really important how you shade particularly as long as the correct side of the line is shaded. So this is the graph for y is greater than 5 halves x minus 4.